hey, hey. I just opened the doors to the studio and gonna see who wants to come in, hang with me this afternoon while I paint a pig. Let's see, let me get things going over here. And be sure to say hello when you come in. Hey, Opa, come on into the studio. We're gonna paint a pig. Hi, Rhonda. Hey, Denise from Kentucky. Thank you for the hearts. That's wonderful. Let's see who else is here. Hello from beautiful Nebraska. Hi, Barb. Hi, Judy. Yay. I'm so happy y'all could come hang out this afternoon. I've got Mr. Taterbug and put me a big old board together. I've got it chalked out so that I can work on Herschel. Hey, Clarice from New York. Yeah, I forgot you were from New York. That's right. Sandy from Indiana. Hey. Hey, Marie. Happy Tuesday to you, too. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hey, Geneva. Oh, you've got some gloom in Indiana. We've got bright sunshine here today, but I think some rain is coming. Hey, Jane. Wow. I didn't expect to have, I, I never expect to have many, you know, in the afternoons like this. Hey, Lana. I, I wish I could see your face. You know, I love to see your face too. I miss you. Hey, Sandy. So glad you're here. Yeah, I don't care if you can only just drop in for a minute. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Cindy, for sprinkling. Hey, Moido. Yay. Artis is here and Debbie's here from Kentucky. This is fun. This is fun. I've gotten addicted to hanging with y'all, so thanks for indulging me. Hey, Liz. Mary Jane. Oh, you're doodling a lot of snowmen. That's great. Yeah, they're fun. I've got one. I've got one more I've got to paint, and I just did the uh, background for it last night, so I need to get that done. Today, we're going to do this big old pig, Herschel. So nice to see you too, Megan. Well, I can't really see you, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> hey, Angie from Louisiana. Wow, okay, look at all y'all. Hey, Tammy, all the way from Maine. If y'all don't know, I'm just outside of Memphis, Tennessee in Bartlett. Thank you for sprinkling, Marie. That means a lot to me. Um, hey, Joy. Not Washington. I didn't catch the first part of that. Hey, Ginger, we are so much better. Yeah, thank you very much. We are a lot better now. We're we're good. Uh, Mr. Taterbuggin is still a little sniffly and stuff, but it comes and goes. It's weird. So, yeah, thank you for asking. I hope this time I am a little more prepared and have my stuff ready, but I'm going to stand up today. That way, if I need to, oh, you're in Southern California. Okay, thanks for sprinkling, artists. I appreciate that. Yeah, if I so, I, I'm standing up anyway, so I don't have to hoist myself up into the chair and down again if I need to get something. Hey, Luann, y'all all doing okay today? Hey, Tabitha. Hey, hey, hey. I have not painted Herschel in a long time. And I have missed it. And I realized I needed a big piece or, you know, fairly big piece for my booth at Southern Vintage Company. And I miss painting pigs. So I'm going to do some pigs. And I thought while I'm painting this afternoon, it would just be fun to uh, open up the studio doors and tell everybody to come on in and hang out with me. It makes it a lot more fun. So are y'all at work or um, uh, are you... What, what are you up to today? Artists, I hate to hear that. It's flooding in Washington. Oh, well, I guess rain is not uncommon for y'all up there, right? But mm, I don't know how y'all do it with all the, the rain all the time. Man, that would get to me. And Jen's on her lunch break. Thanks for spending your lunch break with me. I appreciate that. I'm going to, let's see here. 
I like to pull up one of my old pictures. I've got an old picture of Herschel because it's been a while since I painted him. I'm not telling anybody, Sandy. Like I tell everybody that sneaks in to my lives while they're at work, if your boss comes in, give me a signal or something and I'll pretend like it's a Zoom meeting with a big old pig in the background. <laughs> oh, Luann, you're keeping your grandbaby. How fun. Thank you so much, Jen. I, I appreciate that. Oh, hey, Carla. Carla's here. So glad to see you. Oh, uh, and the other Carla is e-learning with a kindergartner, and it isn't any fun. I don't envy y'all having to do that. Opa, just whatever's convenient for you. I appreciate that. Can't believe 39 of you are even here, so that's wonderful. Oh, it doesn't, uh, artist. Well, that's good. Well, you stay safe. I hope you don't get any flooding. Hey, Chris from Georgia. This is so great. Okay, let me see here. As I recall, I used to do his snout first, so I'll just, oh, we got a newbie, Marjorie from Wisconsin. Welcome. I am, I'm sort of new to these regular lives too, so thanks for coming. I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, and Judy got her brushes from Amazon. We, y'all, we got a lettering class going and we are having some kind of fun in there, aren't we? We're having, we're doing all kinds of fun lettering and everybody's getting their supplies that they want and I love it. Hey, Karen from Georgia. I'm just going to get me a little paint out here onto my paper plate and start painting while we, while we chit chat. My, my sister-in-law was here. I don't know if she's still here because I think she's probably at work too. So she has to probably mute me, which she probably wishes she could do all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, for sprinkling. I appreciate y'all doing that. That means so much. Any interaction uh, with the video is really helpful. All right, can you see this big old snout here? Y'all have a good enough view? Let me tilt it down just a little bit. And of course, I'm backwards, so I'm still learning how to get that just right. Thank you so much, Marjorie. I'm just going to start adding some paint. Uh, this is some reclaimed cedar that my husband planed for me. He planed it down really smooth. Not all the reclaimed wood we use is... Um, is this smooth. Sometimes we leave it a little mm, lumpy and bumpy because I like that. Hey, Susan, I'm glad you're here. This is so wonderful to paint on though because when he, you see the beautiful color when he sand, uh, when he planes it down um, and it's just a dream to paint on and I find that my, you know, my paints just kind of glide and I can um, I can blend like add some to it it just blends beautifully on this wood but I just think it looks really pretty it's a beautiful color and let's see he put three boards together for me that's what we usually do when I'm doing a really large um, animal painting And I know y'all said you kind of, um, you, you wanted to do to see me do some animals. And since I needed a larger piece in my booth, I thought this would be fun to do today. Now, what I normally do, y'all, is I'm not painting sideways normally. So, but I want to stand up here and talk to y'all while we uh, do that. Karen, I love to paint cows. We were talking about... Um, doing a I'm doing monthly classes here online and we were talking about um, doing a cow class this year so that might be fun I've got a, a fun little cow back here that I showed in one of my uh, recent lives it's it's on the shelf shelf over here and uh, somebody had seen it and asked about it so that may be one it's a it's so easy to do, y'all, and I can break it down for y'all, and then you can grow from that 
first little cow painting. All right, I'm just filling in. Like I said, I had chalked in the drawing of him before we, before I got on here. And I'm just going to try to fill it in. Shade it like I usually do. This, this paint's lumpy. I need some, a new um, bottle of this color, I think. Okay, so there's his, there's the first part of his snout. Uh, what, tell me what it was, Denise. I don't think I did. Liz, yeah, y'all have to, that'll be a fun one. The, uh, the cows are fun. I love the cows. All right, we're just going to kind of highlight this top part of his snout. Because y'all know how I like to give stuff some depth. This one is one of my more um, loose paintings. I want to learn how to, I want to grow in how to um, paint more loosely and not so detailed on everything, you know? Did I miss what you said, Denise? Um, so anyway... We've got his little snout. Let me get some white. We're going to just add a little white. Oh, okay. I'm going to, I'll send you that link as soon as we're off of here. Um, thank you. Wait, I'm going to make a note just in case. I don't want to forget that. Forgive me. I have little sheets of paper and notepads all over the place um, because I don't trust my brain anymore to remember everything. When you're a, a well, I'm not totally a one woman show because my husband does my woodworking for me and he helps pack to ship, which is an enormous help. But um, anyway, it gets to be um, a juggling act sometimes, but I love it. All right, I'm gonna just do a little bit of that for right now on his nose. Pigs are your favorite. Your kitchen is all pigs. I love pigs, Kimberly. They used to call me the pig lady because I painted so many pigs. Did you did you see my fur baby go by? Is it? Can you see my bow down there? <laughs> yeah, that's my bow. He's so sweet call him a little nugget he's he looks like he's a he's a mutt but and he's a rescue he has the face and the body of like a, a pit bull but he has the little legs of like a basset hound he is so cute he just cracks me up and that is one powerful dog too he's a sweetheart just he's the pe we call him the peacekeeper he likes to keep the peace in the house with all the animals and this sweetie. I didn't realize y'all could see him down there. We got comments on mine so I couldn't see him. All right, let's fill in some nose holes. <laughs> and again, this is, this is different for me. Um, painting standing up and sideways, but that's all right. Um, there was another little pig when I was looking at my Herschel picture to go by. Um, I forgot about another little pig that I had done. A little girl pig with a um, floral crown around her head. That's one that um, I would love to, to do another one of those. Yeah, it's time to get back to, to my animals. I've missed painting the funny animals. Thank you, Marjorie. He's a sweet baby. Uh oh 
I lost y'all. Okay. We're going to do a little shading in here. I'm always amazed when y'all like to come, um, actually come watch me paint because I feel like I'm probably boring y'all to tears, but it's so much fun for me. Hey, Judy, I'm so glad you're here. I saw the, I didn't get to make your live last night, but I saw what you made and I've got to go back and watch it. Um, and I wish you would post your link here for everybody in case there's some that, that don't know about you. The Crafty House, uh, Miss Judy does such fun things and she's so much fun to watch. All right, let's just do a little bit of white right down here. Okay. Um, I do use gesso every now and then. Um, I have a large canvas over there. If I have a canvas that, well, for instance, there's one that my sister-in-law found for me. Um, she's great with the estate sales and finding treasures for me. And it's a huge square canvas print. So things like that, I'll gesso over it first. There are some canvases that I'll gesso um, first just to get a better grip for the paint. Um, but for the most part, your uh, the, the canvases I buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby um, come already, uh, what is it they call them? But it's technically they're already coated with gesso, so you can just start painting right on them. I don't use it a whole lot. And I de definitely, of course, don't use it on... Uh, wood. Okay. All right, let's slap some of this paint on here. I'm going to see if this is going to be the right color with his, with the cedar. Yeah, this is going to be good, I think. I've got a larger brush to cover, cover a larger space faster. It was cold in here earlier, <laughs> and now I guess it's wherever the sun is. I'm getting hot in here now. I don't even have the heat on. Um, Judy, it's it's not necessarily a smoother surface. I don't think it it. Um, if you bought a roll of canvas and we're gonna stretch it yourself, you would definitely have to prime it. That's the word I was looking for a minute ago. Prime. Um, you definitely need to prime it with gesso first, but most of the canvases, stretch canvases that you buy, um, are already primed, and I've had no trouble. You know, it, it, it doesn't, it can sometimes give your canvas a little more grip, I think, to add it, but, you know, I don't, if you buy one pre-stretched and primed, you should be good to go. I'm going to move over here for this side. Now, Pete is in here with me. That's my, my sweet old man. He's my, they're all rescues, but um, he's my baby because he stays with me all the time. We have a, a really special bond. And he's getting old, but I'm not going to think about that. All right, got that part there. We're gonna do a little white right around his snout. Can y'all hear my neighbor's radio? <laughs> he's he's uh, cleaning up his Jeep, he and my husband uh, went jeeping this weekend over in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and I think he's out there cleaning up his Jeep. He had his good music going. All right, I'll let that dry out a little bit and add some more 
Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go on and fill this part in here. Telling you, when you have a big old board like this, it takes a lot of paint. See if we can pull Herschel out of this uh, pretty wood. Let me know if y'all want to see the cow I was talking about doing a class on this year. Um, anybody that's new, I've started offering uh, monthly classes online. I just set up a private page for the members, and you can sign up. They're $10 a month, and um, we end up having a a good time in the classes so far because everybody's so encouraging with each other when we share what we're doing and um it ends up you know kind of being a little family um thank you judy for sprinkling that means so much and i hope you did share your link in the comments so they can come follow you too because they're missing out if they're not um but anyway so that i lost my train of thought there classes. So, um, when you sign up, I just send you a link to get into the class and, um, we go from there. I share all kinds of links and videos and, um, then I leave, leave them up indefinitely. They'll, they'll just stay up. Uh, so you'll have plenty of time to access all the videos and stuff. This is the cow that I did years ago on old barn wood, and I couldn't part with it because I love this wood so much. It's still got an old rusty nail sticking out of it. Let me see the back, there's the old nail. And it's a, this is a simple cow to do. And if you can get your hands on um, some old barn wood or any kind of old wood, it's so fun, y'all, it really is. But easy enough to do it on a canvas. I've done this one on canvas too, so. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll have to do a class on this one. Do you, Sandy? I'm glad you like it. Uh, let me just get a sip of my coffee. I usually have a cold coffee in the afternoon around two o'clock just to kind of kick me through the rest of the day. Oh, thank you. I'm glad y'all think he's cute. He's fun. Uh, he hung in my kitchen for a long, long time. And then when I uh, got this new studio space out here that my husband did for me, I brought him out here and put him on the shelf. All right. I did um, an abstract cow class. It was a free class offered during quarantine last spring. So if you go back far enough in my videos on my tater bugging page, excuse me, um, you can find that one. It's, it was a fun little, um, it's, and it's very similar to the one I just showed you, except it's an abstract, so you can just go crazy with colors. I used to do a fun abstract pig, too, that was, uh, I, would, I painted it on rough, reclaimed wood and it was usually big old pieces of wood like this and oh my goodness you you can just let loose there's no right or wrong way to do that when i just show you the lines to use and it's so much fun i would um a lot of times when i finished that one across the bottom i would just in um, messy writing uh write out uh pig out and sold a bunch of those too so those were popular Okay, he's coming along. After we lay down all just this um, bottom part, we'll do the detail work on him on top. Oh, thank you for mentioning that, Judy. Uh, I, I'm just so excited about that. I just found out last night I was asked to do the next Crafter Circle event again. Um, Y'all have got to check that out, and you got to um, 
go to My Eclectic Treasures, uh, Labriska and Hildy um, organize it for us. And it's going to be so fun. And it's going to be on tiered trays and uh, tiered tray decor. And it was so funny because yesterday, just yesterday, my husband had just made me my first tiered tray. Hey, Amy, how are you feeling? I hope you're better today. Uh, Judy is a, the crafty house. I'm hoping she'll put her link on here because um, I know I saw what she did last night and it was so cute and it was for a, her tiered tray. It was a Valentine's piece for her tiered tray. And I am just all about tiered trays right now. In fact, he made me a two-tiered tray yesterday and I told him I want a three-tiered tray next for probably for my kitchen table. And so then I will be left to come up with a bunch of little cute stuff to put on it. So this event is perfect timing for me. I can't wait to see what everybody does. I'm glad you're vertical. Bless your heart. Ugh, it's it's no joke. No joke. All right, so here's an eye. I'm gonna go right around here. You can see it, there's, uh, you know, it's kind of messy. It's, once you have the general outline of it, this is, is not that hard to do, but it's so much fun when it's finished, I think. Which I don't even know if y'all can hang out long enough for me to finish this big old thing. How did we get up to 89 people? Oh, wow. Thank you, Tina, and welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'll paint some, something that will work for a tiered tray. Oh, listen, I am, my wheels are spinning. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know. Um, I would love to paint something, you know, to, to show y'all how to paint something for your tiered tray. I have some little um, DIYs that, that I have mulled around in my head to try just for myself. Um, but I think a little paint, so what could I paint that's tiny enough for a tiered tray? What do y'all think? Maybe some kind of little cow or um, maybe a pig. That might be fun. And I think um, it's also gonna be everyday decor too. Um, not just tiered trays and um, and speaking of my husband building them, we may start selling them at Tater Buggin since he's um, he's designing it. Hey, Labriska! Oh, I can't. I'm having a hard time seeing all the comments. Let me go back over here where I can see a teacup is a great idea. Oh, that's fun. I love to paint on um, on wine glasses and mugs and, and things like that. So, yeah, I may just, y'all are giving me great ideas. I think I get my best ideas from all of you on the live videos. <laughs> okay. All right. So, we see what we've got now. Let me go back over here and put his eye in. Color his eye in, I should say. Um, thank you, Regina. Yeah, um, I showed the cow. This is, this is a cow I did a long time ago on Barnwood, in case you missed it earlier. And we we're talking about maybe doing a, one of the uh, classes this year, one of the monthly classes, um, doing that cow. Labriska, um, if you're still here, will you please share your link also to your page? Um, and maybe even the one to the Crafters Circle. We were, we've been talking about that, and um, I would love 
if there if anybody's here that is not you know has not already followed you don't want to miss uh, my eclectic treasures either y'all i'm serious she does such fun things and she's also teaching how to crochet right now i have <laughs> I am mentally challenged when it comes to crochet. I've, I had to just give up. I did paint a longhorn once, Cindy. I sure did. Somebody um, ordered it custom. And I did a silly one not too long ago, actually. It was a cartoonish kind on a cabinet, long cabinet door. So, um, but anyway. See, I turn around and I see a comment and I lose my train of thought. I don't know what I, oh crochet my grandmother crocheted all the time she was so good my sister-in-law is so good at it and both of them tried to teach me how to crochet and I just it just wouldn't stick with me I don't know why but I've tried so, so many times you know to to learn how to crochet and it's Apparently, not in the cards for me, but I love crochet, and it looks so relaxing. So when I see a pretty crochet pattern, I send it to my sister-in-law and ask her to make it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, thank you. They're different each month. I have a different theme each month. We did... A gnome in November. We did a snowman family in December. And then in January, it's hand lettering. So each one is a different theme. And they're $10 each. I have a Shopify uh, page. And I when I set up a new class for the month, I just add it to the catalog there. All right, so we got his eye, and we're all in here. I'm going to do a little bit of this black right in here. Okay. Go back to this brush and fix that a little bit. <laughs> That's... Mr. Taterbuggins out there. What's he eating? He's been over. My mother lives next door. He's. Did you, did you go steal food from my mama? I did. <laughs> We're on live. Oh. Every time he walks next door, the his wood shop is next door behind their house, and he'll go in to say hi and grab a cookie. They always have cookies, and we don't have cookies here. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Hey. <laughs> There's Mr. Taterbug, and he, I have had him, you know, yesterday was our first day back after the holidays, I mean, full force, and um, I've had that poor man busy. Okay, so I just added a little shadow over here to the side. Right there. All right. He, he blows in and blows out. I love living next door to my mama. Oh, we just, it's so great. We have a gate that connects our backyards and our little walkway between our houses, and it's just so wonderful. I love it. It's been bad though, you know, during COVID, we're trying to be extra careful and um, not go around them a whole lot, but mom can just walk over here and sit. We've got two chairs in here in the studio and she can sit and talk to me. <laughs> here goes the troops after him. Yep, <laughs> that's right. That's exactly, we've got three dogs and a cat, y'all. Oh, I'm telling you. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way, but let me find another brush here. Thank you. He built another order for me. Let me try this brush. 
and go with a little pink. And we're gonna start just adding um, some little details over here. No mistakes, just happy accidents. Isn't that what he said? <laughs> you beat me, LaBrisca. Wow. Yeah, our, for some reason, I thought our cat was going to just love this studio. You know, when we finished it, because this used to be our screened porch, and now it's just got windows in it, and it's been fun. Um, but he, for some reason, is acting silly and won't come back here now that it's an actual room. Go figure. He'll go sit at the door and call his dogs because he's lonesome in the other room, but he won't come on back here. It's goofy. All right, let's go back over here and do some more of this. And y'all don't let me go too long. Tell me if I'm, and correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it that Facebook really doesn't, uh, like you to go over an hour on lives. Maybe I made that up in my head. I don't know. I thought somebody told me that. So I try to, you know, try to keep it at 45 minutes to an hour, but I've gone over because I just have so much fun hanging out with y'all. You see what I'm doing? I'm just adding a little, a little hints of it's kind of a mauvey pink. And then just add that cream. It's called buttermilk um, back in with it. Blend it out a little bit. So it just kind of highlights his eye a little bit. Okay, and now that I have four hours <laughs> and I have, oh my goodness there's 108 people here y'all that's amazing <laughs> I'm blown away I just can't believe it this is so great oh they kick you off after four hours well they ought to that's long enough I'm not keeping y'all here four hours watching me paint a pig <laughs> that's just silly okay let's go on and add i think i want to add a little pink over here because his eye other eye would be right about here so we're just going to add a little pink but if um if i don't finish him while we're live i can post a picture of him later where you see how he turns out it has a lot of lot of wood to cover. Please do, Norma. I'd love that. You need Herschel in your life. He's he's a happy pig. He is so much fun. All right, I'm gonna go on and do his ear. Start his ear um, while I let some of that dry, and then we're gonna put some more details. Okay, same snout color. I'm just gonna come over here and remove this. Come over here and put this big old pig ear on here. Do any of y'all have any access to like reclaimed wood or barn wood that if I ever did a, a class? Of course, you, you don't have to use wood, but I'm just curious. Um, if any of you, I know a lot of, a lot of, where am I? A lot of people that I see online do use, um, wood in their crafting. I love it. I, that's really used to be just about all I painted on. That's what I started with is uh, reclaimed wood and painting animals, usually silly animals. The sillier 
um, the, the pose is the better I've done goats and donkeys with glasses and um, oh, all kinds of stuff. this built in. I may need my bigger brush back. Oh, I'm not liking this paint. Okay. Now let's, while this is still wet, I'm going to Start shading the inside of his ear. Can y'all see? Am I? Yeah, okay. I just want to be sure you can see the painting. Okay, just to delineate um, the outside of his ear from this inside. Bring that on around and blend it. And that's the German Shepherd. out here. I need more paint. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. I'm glad y'all like it. I have always been partial to Herschel. Um, used to be when I painted animals all the time. Um, every time I'd paint one, my best friend, we've been best friends since we were 13, grew up together. She names all my animals. And um, she named this one Herschel. I also have my printer, uh, the, the sweet lady at the shirt place, that's the name of her store. She does a lot of my print work and her daughter loves to name my animals too. So she's named, if you, you can leave that door open for a minute because it's warm in here. Well, Walter's kind of jamming. That's all right, I told him he was. Yeah, y'all can probably hear him now. He never does that. But that's all right. Oh, did you put that in there? Did I put what? Um, okay. How we doing? What you oh, it's it's this. It's really easy. This part's easy, Debbie. I'm just oh. slapping some paint on here and um, showing y'all how to blend it. How I usually blend it out. Can you need help? He dropped his ball over here behind the, the chair, and so my poor husband's having to dig it out. This is our life, y'all. This is what we do all day, every day. <laughs> you want me to open? Just leave it cracked a little bit for right now. It's warm in here. I'm not complaining, but... back. All right, we're gonna add the black here. Is that too loud? Is the music too loud, y'all? Let me know. I'm just trying to make this look, you know, bowl shaped like their ear would be. All right. Come back in over here with some more black. Okay.
are we doing here? Yep, what do y'all think? And normally, if it's a smaller painting, I lay it down flat to paint it. I don't even put it on a table easel. Uh, so this is this is a little challenging for me. Thank you, Debbie. He's coming to life, isn't he? Wait till you see the details. It's so much fun. Hope I can get him right. Because like I said, it's been a while since I painted him. He was a favorite. Oh, I wish I knew how many times I had painted Herschel. Oh. Okay. Now, let's get this other brush. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks for sprinkling, Regina. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks, Judy. As you see, there's really not much to it. I'm not telling anybody, Becky, don't, shh, you're not here. You're not here. We don't even, we don't see you. <laughs> okay, we're going to put some white in here. I see it kind of coming to life, his ear coming to life over here. I'm going to do some white. Just so it's, you know, gives the illusion of it actually being an ear and not just being, you know, flat. How's that looking? I could actually hear y'all talk while I'm painting. I want to be able to hear what you're saying or, or, or read what you're saying. Let me add a little down here. Okay, I'm going to shut this because that seems a little loud. Okay, what do y'all think? Let me see how it looks on camera. Okay, so he looks so funny. He looks like a dead pig <laughs> with a pink ear, but we're going to fix that. We're going to get to the details here in just a second. Let me get a more pointed brush. Let's do um, one of these. And we're going to start doing some detail work. My fo followers are funny. I've got to go back and read the comments. <laughs> uh. All right. We're going to start adding in some detail here. And it's just um, nothing... You can see I'm just doing um, loose strokes, paint strokes, right around his nose. May 
add some peach in, or pink or peach, I don't know, with them too. also going to make that eye pop too before long. <laughs> I, I can't wait to hear what y'all are saying. Y'all are killing Judy. Okay, now he's going to have, you know what, this isn't going to cut it. We're going to do this. Let me try this. We're going to start adding hairs. What time is it? 2.51. Okay, y'all. I'll, um, I'll quit at 3 to finish him. So y'all don't have to feel like you're stuck here. But you'll at least see kind of what I'm doing with Herschel. Alright, let's go right here. Go right under his eye. It takes a while to do these big, um, these big paintings just to get it all covered. We're going to start putting little hairs on him. He kind of has a fuzzy little head. Needs more white. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. I hope so. That were, is it Jean or Jeannie? I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Anne Marie. There's my sister in law from South Carolina. Y'all know her from the lettering group, too. I'm so glad y'all love Herschel like I do. He's, he's special to me. Computer keeps trying to go to sleep on me, and I need to look at it. Is he coming to life on the? Yeah, he's coming to life a little bit on the screen here. I think this is so great because I can kind of kill two birds with one stone and get to hang out with y'all and still be um, getting, getting some inventory ready. When Christmas was over, I realized I had absolutely no inventory to put out, so that's what I've been trying to do every day, at least a little bit while I get back to the custom orders. Because I still have pet portraits to do. <laughs> there he comes.
Anne Marie, do you remember when I did Herschel all the time? Back in the beginning and they called me the pig lady. <laughs> all right, let's do a little bit more. I love his little fuzzy head. Now, let me go back and work on his eye. I want y'all to see how his, um, how we make his eye really pop and look so cute. Because I'm not done with his hair yet. Okay, I've got a little bit of his cream right in here. Let me fix that. Okay, now, I love to make their eyes, they need to have that little reflection in their eyes. Up here. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit down here. And let me look at him. A little reflection in his eye. Can you see that? So it's not so flat gives it some dimension and then let's go back in with this little brush and give them some funny hairs over here go around his eye here. Right. Oh. Here, I got into the black again. Y'all are y'all hanging in. Yeah, he's coming to life, isn't he, Judy? I love that's when yeah you know, when you start with the details, they really start coming to life. I usually add a little bit more white in here for his snout. Let's blend that a little bit more. How's that? See his little nostrils coming out? Okay, now let's see. I need to go around his eye a little bit more with this white. And yeah, right in here. Because that's going to come out like that. Well, her 
careful I have missed you. I gotta say, sometimes you just gotta paint something that makes you happy. And I mean, come on, look at Herschel. He's gotta make you happy. All right, let's do some more down here. Put, let me do a little bit mixture of these two and kind of just fuzzy up the edges here so it doesn't just look so flat. He's got little hairs. Like that. And I'll just go back and forth with the two colors till it kind of looks the way I want it to look. And I'll fiddle with this once once I get off of here. I'll fiddle with this some more. And um, just kind of tweak it. Put the finishing touches on him. And do I go over? Yeah, I want to go around his eyes some more. And we're going to curl these out a little bit. What do y'all think? Do you like him? Welcome, Brittany. I am so glad you're here. Welcome. That's wonderful. So he's coming along. This is Herschel. I'll probably, um, I'll probably add a little more pink here and there. I'm going to work on his nose a little bit more. There's something that I'm not crazy about with his nose that I can't put my finger on, but um, I'm going to work on that. I think it just needs more details. And Bo's having a dream. Do you hear him barking in his sleep? <laughs> he does that a lot. He, he and Pete have a bed under my, both have a bed under my work table here. So, okay. This is the beginnings of Herschel. I'm going to work on his ear some more. It's going to have, I'm going to put some white hairs around the, his ears and work a little bit more on his snout because it needs some variations of color, probably a little bit more in his ear. But, um, so do you like him? Great. I'm so glad. This is so much fun, y'all. I really have had a good time. And, um, like I was saying, um, I, I've said before in the lives, what I'm really trying to do now is go live about twice a week, whether I have a craft. Thank you for the hearts. That means so much to my page. It really does. I can't thank y'all enough for your support. And let me hold it, hold it. My phone says the battery's low, but I got the charger right here. We won't have that. Okay. Um, but so, you know, I'll try to, um, post ahead of time when I know I'm going to go live and we will do, sometimes I do a little craft or most of the time I just paint. That's what I do all the time. And it's what I have to do right now. Uh, cause I've got orders to do and, um, slots to fill at locations. So it's great when y'all can come along and, uh, you don't mind hanging out with me and keeping me company while I work because this makes it so much more fun. Um, so be sure to follow the ladies whose links um, were on Miss Judy and LaBrisca. And if I missed anybody else, um, also don't forget to look up the Crafters Circle, Simple Treasures Crafters Circle. That's gonna be really fun. Throw out some ideas for me if uh, you have any about what you'd like to see me do for that. And it's gonna be Tiered, tray, tiered trays a lot of the time over here because Mr. Taylorbuggin is making them now. So, um, Tammy, I didn't know you were here. Hey, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, thank you, Lily. I appreciate that. Y'all are so wonderful. Um, My Eclectic Treasures, The Crafty House, uh, be sure to follow the Turquoise Valentine. Lee is fantastic. Um, loved 
she she's the one that showed us those little marshmallows and I cannot get over those things. I have some more I'm going to make too. I, I took some to my booth today because they're just so fun and they're going on my Valentine's tear tray for sure. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your afternoon and um, just thanks for hanging out with me. You're all wonderful and I just adore you. Talk to you soon and I'll watch for the finished Herschel. I'll post it later. Bye-bye.